hello everyone sorry here and today we are gonna continue our climb to masters we're currently gold one and we are gonna play viego mono viego shurima uh, mono viego is currently a tier two deck it used to be a tier one but it fell off uh it didn't fall off because of the nerfs it just fell off it wasn't its meta kaisa was kind of dominating the meta uh we do we did get a couple of nerfs on the deck quicksand and ancient hourglass uh, ancient hourglass is more painful because now it costs more uh quicksand is whatever it doesn't really matter for viego uh viego is a control deck it wants to keep the board in check uh you want to level up viego and from there once he's leveled up the more encroaching mess you summon or kill units you will help level up viego once he's leveled up you'll start killing uh strongest units on your opponent's board or stealing them if they're followers if they're champions you'll kill them and uh kind of win the board dominate the board pretty much you start smacking their nexus and you have an atrocity finisher uh you do have protection tools like a, a right of negation and ancient our glass i am running one black spear because uh Apparently Darkness is very popular now and Black Spear is good, it kills Vagar and it kills Senna So it's a good addition on the deck uh, But yeah, we will take this to ladder and see how it goes Without further ado, here we go Alright, so we are against Darkness Darkness is a rising deck right now It was kind of rising last season, uh, last patch And then they buffed up Catalyzer and now everything's going insane Also there's a lot of aggro out of the blue on ladder uh which uh which is good for darkness because darkness kind of performs well into aggro so it makes sense for darkness to gain popularity especially on master ladder i was seeing it on on europe being played a lot uh this matchup okay our opponent runs go hard i'm not sure if all of them are running go hard i remember usually they they run at least a one-off in the deck hydravine is good to have uh this matchup is a bit difficult because they do have a lot of uh, a lot of answers for our uh, for our uh, for our Viego, right? They have a lot of answers. They have vengeance. They have mini morph. Uh, they have they can constantly generate darkness. So it's important for us to kill Vegar and Senna. It's important for us to kill these two. Because they are at the end of the day their win conditions, right? I can pass here, I don't really have to develop. Make them waste two mana. And uh so I can't really swing here. Because if I swing, he plays a Vegar and I can't really I can vengeance it, I guess. But why vengeance it when I can uh potentially kill it with uh with uh merciless hunter right but now we can't really do much so what i'm gonna do is uh i need to i think pull this play this and go face or i could play this and look for another vega or maybe uh, uh viego i guess i'll do this i'll be a bit aggressive this turn uh i'm not sure if they can kill this though Okay, so we push six damage, we'll take it. So now potentially they wanna play Senna. Senna here is a bit annoying if they play her. I have to kill her on spot with vengeance. I don't want them to buff up this darkness, so I'm gonna try and kill this. They could revive it potentially with a three mana spell. Okay, they don't have it, that's good. I want to play Viego, but I don't have a protection tool. I have Right of Negation, but I don't have the mana for it. So I think I want to open pass, and we'll see what they want to do. Okay, I think we can Viego here. The problem now is that Darkness costs one mana, which is a bit annoying. That's fine. I'm gonna kill this to activate Viego. Uh, it's important that we buff him up so Darkness doesn't kill him easily. Oh, 
Okay, we take the pass here. Now Senna here is a problem if they play Senna. I might kill her with the Viego. I never block this. There is no reason for me to block. Uh, if I play Hydravin, he might throw a nation, so I have to be careful of that. Okay. So... I can play the Hydravin here. If they want to Vengeance this Viego, it is what it is. Uh, that's fine. But now we buff him up a little bit so he doesn't die easily to Darkness. He could Vengeance it. He might have Vengeance the Hydravin, to be honest. Okay, that's fine. We have another Viego in hand. I'm tempted to play Viego. Because we have Right of Negation if he wants to rule a nation here. Next turn, maybe we can hide Ravine and Chronomancer to like look for stuff. Which isn't bad. I'll attack with this, put some... Uh, I don't want to attack with Viego so he doesn't block here. This might be a vengeance. I think I'm down to play right. Go mana. Or kill a unit. If I kill a unit here, at least we can play the Hydravine and this. Does that really matter? Yeah, I'd rather just push the 3 damage as well. That's fine. The only problem is if they have a ruination next turn will be a bit of trouble. So hopefully no ruination. Ooh, that's perfect. Okay, we're chilling now. I can't kill this sadly. Let's look for cards. Vengeance is nice, Black Spear is nice. I guess Black Spear is cheaper. With the power of time, the possibilities are endless. I can block the Senna if he attacks with her, so. Eh. The problem with playing this now is that. Let's say they have. Uh, they have a ruination, I'm in big trouble. But wouldn't they have already played the ruination if they had it? I feel like they would have already played it. They can't attack with the Sana here, should die. Yeah, Ruination is painful here. If they have it, they have it. I think they might have it since they're blocking the Viego instead of blocking with this. They're blocking with the Senna. Or it could be a Senna spell, I guess, which would make sense. Senna spell makes sense. Oh, why not do it with this though? So confused. So two Senna dead, one Senna dead, one Vegar dead, right? And my Viego levels here. I still have one Viego in the deck. No more protection tools though. Okay, opponent gave up. Although I don't agree with, the, with giving up here, but yeah. Alright, we are against Cannon Ezreal. Ooh. Cannon got buffed, so it's normal we're gonna see a lot of cannons right now. Uh, there's Cannon Ari and there's Cannon Ezreal. I think Cannon Ezreal is currently more popular. And our hand is kinda meh. It's better now with Viego. The thing is, Cannon now is very annoying to the point uh, that they can keep recalling him. And like, I mean, these marks are now dealing 3 damage, right? So it's very hard to keep our stuff alive from, uh, from this Cannon. A bit difficult. Uh, I'm gonna play it kinda slow right now. I, I'll try to pull this Cannon. And see how this goes. They might recall him on the spot. We'll cry a little bit. It is what it is. If they don't do that, we're kind of happy. Time for a 
Okay. So I'm gonna try and kill this v uh, cannon here. I think it's more important to kill cannon than killing Ezreal. The second, the second all cannons die, we're very happy. Uh, they can't really make a comeback after that. No Pify, that's fine. So here we'll we'll see if they want to open attack. They want to uh, wait until I develop. They're gonna or play a cannon. They decide to open attack. What's gonna happen here is we have to pass because we don't want to give uh, Valfi's target. Okay. Uh, now we also have to open pass here and wait for them to do something and then maybe we drop the Viego. I can't just drop Viego because they can't. I tap out of mana, I, I tap most of my mana and then they can uh, start doing uh, cannon stuff and killing the Viego on spot which isn't really good for me so yeah, make them burn the 2 mana and we're kinda chill uh, they might open attack here I'll probably play the quicksand block the Ezreal, force them to do something to keep the Ezreal alive maybe palm, maybe recall We'll see, we'll find out. This is best to do it like this, because the Ezreal only has one damage, it's fine. And Diego can uh, can kill it here. Recall? Uh, we can't do much about it, just let it happen. I'll play the Kamavuran Soldier, buff up the Diego. Ezreal is a problem though, like 100%, and when he levels. As long as he's not leveled, we're kind of chilling. Uh, I have to, to kind of be careful with the cannon. Because if they play numerous ones, we are in trouble. We we'll try Val feasting him, but that might not be good. We'll see. We'll put Ezreal on the boat. No, not Ezreal. Eye of the Dragon. If I can level up Diego, I'm very good. Okay, I'll just swing. Oh, I forgot this can actually block the Diego. Whoops. I forgot it got buffed. Okay, that, that's my bad. Uh, I guess it's fine-ish, maybe. The main goal is to level up Diego, to be honest. That's the goal. Not have him die. This will constantly keep buffing up the Viego, so that's good. They might actually change their game plan and focus on killing this instead of killing the Viego. Okay, maybe not. He's down to two. I have to be careful. Okay, so they played the Azul, that's very good for me. I can kill one of these cannons now. Throw a second Viego. So this is their last cannon now. They don't have any other cannons. They can create more with the landmark, but that's about it, right? And this Hydravin is doing a lot of work for us. Like this Hydravin is a problem on its own. I want stuff to die so I'll, I'll let the spider die. That's fine. Viego will not die anymore, uh, they need to recall him I guess. So right now we're just chilling, waiting for them to do things. 
if they try to recall this cannon we can wall feast if they try to like play a fast spell or something we can play wall feast to stop it if they play the landmark or the two mana uh, elusive unit we can't really do much about it okay so there it is let's see what they decide that's a very bad way to recall something uh they could save it with twin i guess that's a bit annoying so i could allow this to happen and replay another viego i guess i guess i don't mind it Like he's still very uh, close to leveling up next turn. Okay. Play this. Have more units attacking. A right of negation is really good. So right now Viego is so annoying for them. They can't really kill him with cannon anymore. They have to keep recalling him. Uh, so he doesn't level. Once he's leveled, he's gonna take over the board. The only problem we have is Ezreal. That's literally the only uh, threat we have. We have this to kill the Ezreal, but that's about it. No homecoming. Okay, that's good for me. I wonder why block this, not block the Viego though. It's very weird. Okay, so now we're just chilling. We just see what they wanna do and we kinda react. Viego does most of the job for us, so this is leveled now, that's a problem. Uh, let's play this and predict maybe we can find the Vengeance. There we go, perfect. If he jams an Ezreal this turn, I'll kill him immediately with this. This Viego is not dying anymore. I guess maybe I should attack with the Hydrovin just to put more pressure on my opponent. Right, let's kill this Ezreal here. He gets a... What? Why does it say he gets a Mystic Shot? Oh, I guess he, thought he does hit the Nexus. Makes sense, I guess. Recall a unit with 3 or less health. Oh, this Viego fizzles though, unfortunate. Okay, here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We have an elusive blocker, so we can't really swing with this. We have Vengeance as well, we predicted for it. He doesn't have any more cannons, I killed all of them. They're gonna have to play these on it, then we play right of... Uh, negation and kill this elusive unit uh, so we can uh, so they have less blockers for next turn right interesting play oh huh. okay I guess he just wants to jump more, maybe. Let me kill this Israel before it levels. Val feast this, so less blockers. Bam. Okay, so I have to save. I thought you would do everything on Hydra, I mean, that's very confusing. I I will I will save the right of negation. Maybe they have uh 
a palm or a recall or something to stop a fearsome unit from hitting face i think that's worth more right now you should kill this right or steal this i mean okay swing with everything go face try to win here on spot we're pushing so much damage 40 damage here 42 okay so we just pass here they're still losing their cannon so that's also bad for them and yeah we don't we don't have that answer uh ggs ggs all right we are against uh viego evelyn which is the inferior version of the mono viego deck uh cavern soldier is good viego is good i could keep vengeance to kill viego i guess but i'd rather find uh more stuff like defensive tool keep my vehicle alive which is ancient hourglass is perfect for this matchup uh because they do run vengeance i don't know if he runs ruination ruination is kind of annoying but other than that uh like vengeance is at the biggie hydravin is good Also, electricity should go out soon, by the way. Uh, maybe in like 20, 30 seconds, we'll see. Maybe in like a minute, maybe. So we'll have to do it without electricity. Uh, this is fine. I'll play this. Kind of weird attack, but it's fine. I guess it makes sense if you want to like kill the stuff before Viego hits the board, maybe. Makes sense. Ooh, I forgot this card. Is this is a card? I guess it's fine. Don't really have any plays here. I have vengeance to kill uh, Evelyn, and that's it. Oh, I can't even kill her because of the of the spell shield. Yeah, unfortunate. We don't really have any plays. Gonna burn four mana, which is painful. Okay, so if you are opponent here, I think you should have taken the pass. Like maybe, I guess. I'm not sure. It depends on their hand, I guess, but uh, if I was them, I would take the pass, make me bear the mana. But uh, at this point, I'm gonna burn it anyways. But like, I could have had Merciless Hunter or Buckeye Sand Spinner and played it here, killed this, for example. Unfortunately, we didn't have it. Okay. So we both have Viegos. I have to sack my own Viego into his. To preserve my health. Let's see. Maybe we draw something here. Okay, that's not bad. It's it's a it's a blocker. I'll take the pass. I'm still taking a lot of damage here, but I'm taking four damage. It's doable. I'm not sure if he runs uh, atrocity. Atrocity is a problem though. So hopefully no atrocity. And for the time being, it's not a threat. Okay. Uh, I have to keep ancient our last mana. They're going very wide on the board. Okay, there it is. So play this. Keep our Hydra in alive. Is 
play this for blocking. I can't pass. Very nice, we have another Viego. So right now I'm taking 2 damage, which is fine. Taking 2 damage is fine. I am down into atrocity range though, uh, with Viego. If they play Viego, he's, at, he's enough to atrocity me now. Okay. So this is fine. So they might have a ruination. I'll start with Chronomancer. Maybe you can find the right of negation here. Have to skip. I need the right of negation. Viego. Uh, I could play my own Viego. The problem with that is that they have a trust I'm losing here. Ah, that's kind of annoying. I kind of forgot to play around, around it like that. Uh, guess I have to pass. Unfortunate. All right, we we'll play Hydra uh, Viego here. We'll see what they want to do. If they Vengeance, it's very hard for me to play Ancient Hourglass here. Because if I play Ancient Hourglass and they have an Atrocity, I'm gonna lose. Yeah. Try and level them up. He could vengeance and stop it. You can't stop me. Handle better. Take a load off. He's actually going pretty low. I didn't expect him to go this low. Okay. Oh happened that's fine electricity didn't go out which is weird i think maybe that the government electricity got on so maybe we have like a bit of electricity like an hour maybe i might jinx it hopefully not uh so no vengeance i guess that's good he doesn't level yet okay we're very good here right he doesn't level does he oh uh, they do level and they're gonna do their thing before me. That's not good. Ah, uh, that's so bad for me. I didn't expect the Recandler, to be honest. Hmm. Yeah, at this point I can't play around the Trusty anymore. I have to just play the game. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I win this anymore. Maybe attacks and misplays. I think the only way I can win is if he misplays here. Like that. Listen to me. 
they might have vengeance i guess but they would have vengeance before huh? before attacking right i'm not sure i am pretty low though here now he is gonna level i just chill and my vehicle will go on first and he'll kill it Hydravin is fine. That's fine. We have our own Hydravin next turn, so. Yeah, I trust is GG. Uh is what it is i'll try to swing here push some damage we can if they try to valfy it vengeance my unit i still have a protection tool that's fine i think it's important to keep my my guy alive here Okay, not gonna do much about it. GG's, GG's. Uh, we tried, we tried. Uh, we just couldn't win it from there. I, I was muted. Uh, I said I was like, I'm against Mono Shurima, and uh, I'll just keep Chronomancer to find my answers. And the main goal right now is to uh, level up Diego as fast as possible and. Uh, from there he just carries the game on his own, right? This will go on here, so kind of wasted. Okay, so just chill here. I don't think they're gonna swing at all. Never mind. Uh, block here. I don't want to give him the landmark, so I'll just ignore this. And this time we want to play Viego and uh, start working on his level up pretty much. So they know they have it. They have a champion now. We know that. I don't have to do anything. I guess I could have swung with this, potentially, but then I do give him the landmark. But I guess that's kind of fine. I, I want to level up this vehicle as fast as possible, right? They might try to kill here, so I most likely will not block with the vehicle. I'm fine with dropping a little bit low on HP. Like we can drop to 9, 8, even 3 HP is fine. Even 1 technically is fine. Uh, if we can block everything on the board. Uh, just this Diego has to stay alive pretty much. They did misplay here though. They don't have a protection tool to keep this guy alive. So he is gonna die. I think since I can vengeance it now, I might as well do it. Uh, not the best attack you could do here. I don't want to block with Viego, keep him healthy. Vengeance this, so we don't have to deal with it.
I don't mind playing Hydra in here. I could even pass, I guess. I guess Hydra isn't bad. He might play Azir this turn. So they're gonna go... They're gonna activate the landmark next turn, right? Okay. The good thing is... That we level up our... Uh, Diego here. How do they deal with it? I'm not sure. I don't think they have a way to deal with them right now. They could jump both champions next turn. At least this will get hit as well, so we're kind of safe. So they want to play Azir here, most likely. I want to see if they want to swing here. Okay. They can't destroy the landmark, I think. They don't have any cards. The only card they can play is Naturalist, and they don't really have the mana for it. What I'm doing here is I'm putting this Viego in a landmark, so I can summon a second Viego on the board. And now we have two Viegos, right? Wait, what's this again? Card draw? I will not be made to wait. This is new. I've never seen this before. Cost two less for each different. This is. I've never seen this before. Alright. So Azir should die here. Alright. Does this work though? No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, we kind of expected that. I'm gonna go for full on attack here. And this also can attack. Just kind of go face with everything. Push as much damage as we can. And we have an atrocity finisher. Okay. GG's, GG's. Okay, we are against any gen aggro deck. It did get a bit of a uh, nerf. But it's kind of still an okay deck. We'll keep Valfeast, it's good. One drop is good. We don't have any other early cards though. Maybe we can draw into something. I think with any gen, they can still, even if you like block stuff, they can still push the damage with uh, their unit skills, right? So usually we don't want to block this. Yeah. I will see what they want to do here. I could Valfeast this so we don't have to deal with it. Oh, Kamavoran Soldier is awesome. Okay. Uh, feast this. I could feast this instead, I guess. I think feasting this is better. Okay. Annie, we can't really block her. This we can block. I'm gonna open attack and then see what they wanna do. Black Spear is really good, by the way. It kills uh, Jen if they play Jen. Uh, the only problem here is that we don't have. Uh, uh, we don't have. Uh, like, we, we don't wanna play this on offense, right? It kinda sucks. And I'm hoping they don't open attack here, because if they open attack, they're pushing. 4 damage, which drops me to 12, that's never good for us. Okay, so we can come a Voran Soldier here. Uh, they could have a stun. But we still have uh, Walking Sands as a final unit to play here.
We're kind of in trouble. I have to kill this Anni. It's fine. They might fervor here. Ooh. I don't like that. I don't think this is the right play. Uh, for them. I think they should have went face. They really valued this enemy a lot, I think. I can't glimpse here. I need to play the black spear. I guess we do it. Oh, went very wide. Can do it on Anni here. Even though we can pull Anni technically next turn. Problem is, they can play this guy next turn, which is a bit bad. Yeah, like this dropping on the board is also bad for us. Come on, Voron Soldier is good. We might play him over Viego. I'll keep Quicksand mana. Reserve to health might be relevant. At least we don't die to decimate fervor. So now we can pull this enemy and kill her. Uh, only on, I guess we don't play Viego. I think Hydravin is better than Viego here. Unfortunately, we can't really just sound the Viego, but Hydravin is better to like keep up with the board, right? Like this is good. Okay, so this is three damage going face. We're gonna drop down to six. Oh, okay, perfect. Oh, we're chilling now. We went next turn. Play Viego. That's irrelevant. Okay. GG's, GG's. Uh, so we should be hitting plat now. Uh, yeah. Viego is good into aggro. They can still kind of high roll you, and you can, or you can low roll pretty much. I think you lose by low rolling, not by them high rolling. Uh, but yeah, flat. Uh, now we're on the road to diamond. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. Take care and goodbye.